What's going on guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to another episode. For those who are new, my name is Tommy McGrath. I film fishing videos for my full-time job. We are up in the north woods of Wisconsin for the next four weeks of straight fishing and filming. We have a lot of time up here, a lot of different species to target, but we're obviously gonna start with smallmouth today. We're gonna be tossing jerk baits, crank baits, net rigs, hair jigs. And we're basically gonna just be looking for a good pre-spawn bite, but when we come across beds, we're obviously gonna bed fish. I mean, if you say you don't bed fish, if you don't like it, obviously just click off the video now because I have a feeling a lot of these fish are gonna come from beds only because we are gonna have straight sun here in a little bit, a high blue sky, hopefully, and it's gonna be one of our warmest days yet. It's been really cold up here. We've had 30 degree nights and surprisingly, the bite has just been absolutely insane still. We are probably already in the boat. We have to have over a hundred fish at that one largemouth day of being about 60, 70 fish. And then we've had really, really good smallmouth days so far. So kind of started off hot here. I appreciate you guys tuning in as always. Hopefully we can put on another clinic of a bass fishing day for you guys. Hello. At least we know we're still munching after 33 degrees last night. That is absolutely insane. Actually 32. Oh. Pack your shit, let's go. I know what we're doing. All new territory, bud. Oh, these are definitely all dead batteries in here. Maybe these are charged? Question mark. <laughs> So I feel like I've already said this a hundred times in multiple videos, but as we're going, casting this whole shoreline, slow reeling hair jigs, we come across a Mondo bed and a Mondo fish. So I'm gonna talon. It's a gorgeous fish too. If you had to guess, would, would Let's go. Go, 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 go. Nice net, dude. Nice net. Hell of a net. I don't know how you got it, but nice. Look at that, guys. Hair jig right in the top of the snoot. Oh, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Let's go. Not as big as I thought. Guys, I honestly thought this was a lot bigger. It's still a gorgeous fish. But hair jig, we're gonna get a quick weight if you wanna grab me the scale. And of course, always come to the camera for you guys so you can take a real look at this beauty fish. But that is a gorgeous fish. I love smallmouth. And we have 2.60. Don't wanna let this guy fall. Gotta always take care of these smallmouth. But guys, look at this fish. Look at that. Oh my God. Absolutely gorgeous smallmouth. This is why I love these fish. Um, if you guys have been following me for a while or watch my videos, you know I'm obsessed with these gorgeous fish. So we're gonna get this right back, snap a quick pick, but there we go, first of the day. Guys, there are fish cruising under the boat right now. We got beds right here. I'm gonna let uh, DSAC go for that one right there. That one's a pretty nice one. Super red eye too on that one. This is literally my favorite time of year to fish, dude. Fish. There you go. Definitely over four. Definitely over four. Well, guys, the one sack loss on the bed, he reclaims. It's a nice one, too. Look at that one. 3.90, guys. Beautiful fish. Um, this is sack. This is your biggest of the trip, right? So, so far. far. Yeah. Guys, there's gonna be a lot more big fish to come. Look at this. Absolute beautiful smallmouth. Nice fish, dude. Thank you, thank you. And you lost it and re got this yeah. fish, too. That was second, sweet. Second time on it, so. I was gonna call release. Sacks got the camera. We're cruising the shoreline. And we found a pretty decent one. So I'm gonna flip a net at it. 
flip a net at it. Seven foot medium, St. Croix Legend Elite. See if he's, oh, turned on it right away. Look at that. Look at that, that was so sweet. Trade secret, trade secret. Give it a little tap, a little love tap. Okay, okay, let's go. Here, I can let it. Oh, you got it? Nice. <laughs> that was so sweet. I told Sack, I was like, if you film this for me, I'll buy you drinks at the bar tonight. But that just came right out. Big old fat. This is actually not too long, but look how fat that thing is. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Super red eyes. That's awesome. Look at that. These fish, I'm telling you guys, are so beautiful. I'm obsessed with them. I literally have one tattooed on my arm. I'm so obsessed with it. So you can always see that, but big stocky guy. I would guess this one's probably, I'm going to say two and three quarters, maybe just at three. Oh, wow. Actually a little bit bigger than I thought. 3.40. Huh? Oh, yeah, 3.40. So another gorgeous smallmouth and i think we're about to go to the shoreline so i'm gonna get this back in let's get a sweet release on this guy and that's not how you release smallmouth damn it all right i was gonna lower it down nice and easy but he kicked once and i don't want him to hit the boat so i just kind of pushed him out so he's back he's gonna go back to his bed so maybe later on uh, i'll let sad talk about more of what he does but he actually is a photographer at uh, a nudist beach. That's like what he does full time. <laughs> I want to start telling people that up here. That. <laughs> that was a nice small mouth, dude. We need this one. Mm. Uh uh. Mm. Uh uh. Nat, nat, giant, 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 giant. Guys, look at this fish. Ned. Oh my God. What a fish, what a fish, what a fish. I'm gonna say, th I'm gonna say 410. Oh, I guess 410. I four flat, 405, 410, 405, 415. Uh, locked in, locked in at 405. So I guess 4.10 and it was 4.05. So I was 0 0.05 off. <sighs> Look at that fish, guys. Welcome to the North Woods. Welcome to Minocqua. This is what we came here for. Giant pre-spawn smallmouth. Look at that. Let's go. 4.05. Um, I don't even know how many four pounders we have now in this boat, but gorgeous fish. Uh, because you cannot technically keep bass right now, so that means you can't put them in your live well. I would never keep a bass, but what I mean by that, you can't put it in your live well. I'm actually gonna drop it in the net and hold it in the water, because I wanna keep really good care of this fish. When you're fishing spawn, pre-spawn, uh, you really gotta be, honestly, actually fishing ever, you just gotta be careful with these fish, so. I'm gonna hold it in the net and try not to eat 10,000 bugs. All right, guys, one last look. 4.05, beautiful smallmouth, gorgeous colors. I'm gonna get this thing right back to its bed. Bring it over, he's ready, he's ready. Now keep your red left. Pop it once. Leave it. Let's go. Rod tip high, rod tip high. I think we're the GoPro. Another fish in the net. Ned Ray, these are prototypes. Remember that. We are coming up with something big. What do we got here? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> oh, we got another smallie. I mean, so we got another smallie here today. Get them on the beds. They're really active. A lot of people have been kind of surprised we're getting them on beds, but it's really where we're hammering them the most. Ned Ray, go over here. I mean, these things are absolutely insane. So, got something good coming. Nice fish, bud. Thank you. 2.85, 2.80. Right. Now it's sitting at 2.80. Got him? Yep. Alright, let's get a nice release.
Zach ran up to the house for a little bit. I was gonna go up and make some food, but I started seeing fish all over here, so I'm gonna take a cast. Now that I'm seeing a pretty good amount of fish now cruising the shallows instead of just the beds, I will go to the jerk bait. Let's see if we can land a giant, pretty small giant. Spoke too soon about casting for pre-spawn. Got him. Giant. Giant, 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 giant. Oh, get in the net, yes. Oh my God, the net just popped out. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. Beauty. I think that's gonna go four. I think it's gonna go four. All right guys, probably a nice two and three quarters, I'd say, right at three pound mark. Um, found this one on the bed. We're gonna cast this point right behind me here and we found a pretty decent small one. So we're gonna snap a quick pick of this guy and then get him right back in. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Today actually turned out to be pretty much mostly beds. That was honestly, we couldn't, I gave Chris a call midway through the day and I said we cannot get anything to eat, anything casting. It was a really weird day, but all the fish that we found that were active were on the bed. So I think bed fishing is super fun. Some people hate on it, some people like it. I think everyone does it even if they say they don't. I think if you have an opportunity to catch a, whoa, I almost slipped. I think if you have an opportunity to catch a four or five pounder, I think why not take it, go for it. So. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I think the bite's gonna get a whole lot better. It's gonna kind of lead into more um, casting jerk baits top water. The top water bite is just finally starting to turn on. And unfortunately, I hope it, I got on the GoPro. I don't even know yet. I turned this camera off on accident. I thought I was filming. I did this whole like cut. I caught a four and three quarter smallmouth to end this video out. I think it's, I, hopefully it's on the GoPro, but that is my biggest so far of the trip yet. So maybe it's on there, maybe it's not. I hope you guys saw it. But if not, please remember to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And peace out. Early mornings, late night cruising. Up and down the crystal cove and through the uneasy stream. Bass fishing, corona drinking. We're just out here catching the American dream. Lay back, relax, McGrath fishing is all you need.